Thanks so much for joining us on Midday. I'm Angela Green. New numbers from the CDC show the Delta variant now accounts for an estimated 93.4% of coronavirus cases circulating in the country right now. And in just one week, COVID-19 cases in children and teenagers jumped 84%. Those numbers are a huge concern for Leon County Schools. That's why the district wants to move a mask mandate. ABC 27's Jada Williams is live now from the school board where Superintendent Rocky Hanna made the announcement. Jada, who will be in impacted by this mandate. Well, Angela, Leon County Superintendent Rocky Hanna sent this two page letter to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis asking for permission to implement a temporary mask mandate for all students who aren't old enough to get the vaccine. Now, out of the district's 30,000 students, only 800 in person students tested positive for the virus last school year. Now, during that time, there were no cases of students ages 5 to 11 being admitted to the hospital. For ages 12 to 18, there were at least four students admitted. The mandate would include students from pre-kindergarten to eighth grade. It would start at the top of the year and go until at least August 31st. Superintendent Hanna says he changed course on masks for students when he saw a rising number of school-aged children in the hospital with the virus. In the last 10 days, Hanna says at least four students and two teachers have been admitted to local hospitals. As for how this decision will be received by the governor's office, you know, I really don't know the details of the financial impacts. I know that there was a, the threat of withholding funding and the threat, you know, I just, which is disappointing to me that it's almost like being held. It's just disappointing that that rhetoric that we can't talk and work things out. You know, but but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hannah says the, that it, uh, if this is implemented, it could be extended depending on the positivity rate in the district. As for other points brought up by Hannah in that letter to the governor, there, uh, there have uh, also been debates that are coming up from the parents as well as the teachers. Now there was a, uh, what was sent out from those teachers was a letter asking them how they feel about the mask mandate, whether they want that mask or not, and it was 50-50 split. As for the parents, they have been very vocal as well, both arguing both sides about what they want. Now, tonight at 5, we're taking a closer look at this decision and how it's impacting the community. In Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27.